begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God, who is wonderful in all His works, be with you all. Amen. The animals of God's creation inhabit the sky, the earth, and the sea. They share in the fortunes of human existence and are part of our human life. In fact, some of them are very a great deal a part of your families. God, who confers His gifts on all living things, has often used the service of animals or made them symbolic reminders of the gifts of salvation. I'm sure with the unconditional love they show you guys, it could be a sign of God's unconditional love for, you, for His people. And certainly uh, we can see God's working in all of our animals especially St. Therese of Lisieux, who was celebrated uh, her feast day on Thursday. She recalls one time where she saw a hen uh, with her little ducklings, and she was brooding over them, you know, and, 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 and kind of hovering over them. And it, re it immediately reminded her of how God broods over us and, and comes over us. And it, 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 we're, we're in the safety of His wings, so to speak. And so we're reminded of, of God. In fact, animals were saved from the flood and afterwards made part of the covenant of Noah. The Paschal Lamb brings to mind these Passover sacrifice and deliverance from the bondage of the Exodus. We have a giant fish that, remember, saved Jonah, and ravens that brought Elijah bread and food. Animals were included in the repentance and joined on humans through Jonah, and animals share in Christ's redemption of all creation. We therefore invoke the divine blessing on these animals through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Philip Neri. And as we do so, let us praise the Creator and thank Him for setting us over the creatures of the earth, and let us ask Him that, remembering our human dignity, we may always walk within His law. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teemed and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, and fill the water of the sea, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, in the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. The word of the Lord. Thank, Thank you, God. And that your bounty and the resources of this life may move us to seek more confidently the goal of eternal life. We ask you to bless these animals in your name, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.